All right, so here we have two new motors from Gep RC. Uh, these go on their Speedex uh, label, and these are the Gep RC GEP GR2306, and they come in in 2450 kV and 2750 kV. These were sent in by Gep RC. Uh, for testing, so thank you very much GEPRC for sending the motors for testing so that I can put them on the trust stand and share the results with uh, all of you guys so so that we can compare them uh, against other motors and see how these perform uh, they come in this uh, standard box uh, nothing fancy, just a regular box and they come in uh, just a plastic bag, sealed, and they give you some uh, screws and a low profile nylock. And the screws come label uh, M3 by 7 for 4 millimeter thick arms and M3 by 8. Uh, these are for 5 millimeter thick arms. So that's a nice touch to uh, label the screws. Uh, depending on the arms that you're gonna use uh, so that's good guidance so you don't end up uh, using too long screws and messing up the um, the windings although it's kind of hard to mess up uh, windings now so you could just see how far the screw goes in and if it's too long of course then you would want to stop and get a shorter screw okay so here's the motor out of the box and as you can see, very nice styling on the motor, polished uh, aluminum, uh, that's the finish that they went with, it's not anodized or painted, and so pretty good looking, I think, uh, black and polished aluminum. Uh, so these motors come with all the latest features that we'd come to expect on new motors. Uh, they have the naked bottom base, so minimal base to keep the weight low. Uh, shaft retaining screw and uh, a one piece propeller and motor shaft it is magnetic so that's what's made out of just hardened steel and the shaft is hollow all the way through so that's uh, good some shafts that are only partially hollow but you actually do want it to be hollow all the way through uh, it makes it more resilient to bending. Nice big head uh, screw. Uh, so that's a good thing because sometimes they use those small screws that are very hard to remove and the Allen keys just don't grab too well. So this one has got a nice big head and it, it uses a, a larger, you just need a larger key. So uh, that makes, that'll make it a lot easier to remove when you have to use the smaller keys it's just uh, uh, not that easy for instance when you have to use like a 1.5 millimeter uh, instead of using like a 2 millimeter uh, key so so that's a good choice uh, of a retaining screw that'll make it a lot easier to remove uh, so they come with about 150 millimeters of wire and this looks like it's gauge uh, 20 gauge uh, 20 gauge wire so uh, okay thickness for this size motor uh, and plenty of length to reach uh, center mounted ESCs. Alright, let's get the motor weight and that's with the 150 millimeters of wire. So that comes in at 36.1. So if we cut the wires to 50 millimeters, we'd be getting rid of that much wire. Uh, so that's 20 gauge wire, 300 millimeters of wire, around 2.4 grams. So we'll tear that, and uh, so that's minus 2.4, of course. So let's see what it would weigh with 50 millimeters of wire. It's going to be 33.7. Um, so not the lightest 2306 that's come across for testing, but kind of reasonable I guess. The really lightweight 2306's are what about 32, 31 or so. So this one's a little bit heavier. I'll remove the retaining screw. So I already loosened this one. As I mentioned this is a, a rather nice screw they use. It's a nice and big so the Allen key goes 
in nice and it's you use a larger allen key that's a m2 so that was pretty easy to remove and it does have loctite uh, but they use just the right amount uh, just keeps it tight but it's not impossible to remove I don't even have to heat it up and they don't use brass washers that's interesting they're, they're only using the screw to mate to the bearing so I guess that's all right all right so we'll put it under the magnifying glass uh, pull this out and uh, let's see what it uh, let's see what it looks like all right so here it is under the magnifying glass and I was looking at the specs on the GetRC website and they're saying that they use NSK bearings so uh, those are good bearings good brand and uh, N52 SH magnets so pretty strong magnets and of course the four millimeter one piece shaft and as I mentioned before that's uh, uh, fully hollow so it's hollow all the way through so that's good and uh, single strand wire for the windings and as you can see very very neat very nice windings and oh those uh, NSK bearings that's the good size so those are uh, 4 by 9 by 4 uh, so those are the the bearings that everyone likes because they're um, they're pretty resilient and they withstand crashes pretty well there's the uh, windings uh, the bottom side uh, nice and tucked in so nothing that's gonna uh, get damaged on crashes against branches or anything so that it's all nice nicely tucked in uh, even though they're they're not using any uh, epoxy there or anything uh, it's really not necessary in this case because it it uh, as you can see it's all nicely tucked in the base is fairly uh, fairly tight in there so that's pretty good so that looks to be either 0.15 or 0.2 millimeter laminations. Although I can see they didn't really use any coating on the face of the stator, so it seems to be bare. So it's uh, bare metal there. Let's get a reading there. That's so that's six millimeters. So the bell does have a lip right there. So that's good. That'll help keep the magnets in place. Uh, looks like they have it has plenty of epoxy too on the magnets, so those magnets should stay uh, in place. And as you can see, the finish inside uh, pretty good. Only very small amount of uh, balancing mud, so that means uh, pretty good on the machining, at least for this for this one motor. Let's put this back here and let's. Let's look at the, uh, if you guys want to see if you can see the um, the air gap. It's actually very tight. This is very tight air gap. Uh, there's hardly any space between the magnet and the face of the coil. So that should make for uh, very powerful motors. Alright, so let's uh, put these motors on the thrust stand and let's see what they can do.
All right, so here are the thrust test results for the GEP RC GR2306 2450KV. The motor came in at 2475 kV, so pretty close to the specified KV. So I went ahead and tested on 3S, 4S, and 5S, the usual props, starting with the 5045BN from GenFan. So that came in at 1416 at 36 amps, very manageable amps. So on 5S, with the HQ 5043x3, the motor really came onto its own, above 2 kilograms. So 2,052 at 55 amps. Pretty reasonable when you consider that once flying, props is going to unload and the amps are going to come down quite a lot, usually by 35 to 40 percent. So that's going to be roughly around 35 amps. So that's still quite manageable. And on 4S, uh, still pretty good, uh, just under 1,500. So the motor's performing quite well. Then on to the 5045 by 3, breaking 1500 grams, and the DYS 5040 by 4, roughly about the same thrust and uh, amps, still quite reasonable. Then the more aggressive DAL 5046 and 5045 by 3 V2, above 1600, and the amps still remain quite reasonable. 44.2 remember that's uh, burst amps so these are only momentary for a very short time then they'll taper down it's roughly about 35 to 40 percent once you're flying so still quite reasonable then moving on to the larger props the 5045 bn 1678 approaching 1700 grams at 49 amps still manageable then even on the six inch props the amps seem to be okay for a short burst anyways just missing the 1900 uh, grams here with the 6040s so overall these motors perform pretty well getting some respectable numbers here both in uh, thrust and amps seems to be fairly efficient so pretty good offering from gap rc all right so those are the thrust test results for the gap rc 2306 I uh, hope you find the data useful and uh, until the next one, thank you for watching.